This is a Lemon Busters inspection of a 2008 Corvette. And we'll begin the inspection. Starting at the left rear quarter panel here. You can see that the vehicle's in really great shape. There's no real signs of uh, any damage. Your occasional little nick and little scratch here. The car overall, even for being a black car, doesn't even have any detailing swirling marks. The vehicle is equipped with a full exhaust, long tube headers, an aftermarket cold air kit, and a Pioneer CD player in place of the factory unit. Please be aware of that. Goodyear tires are starting to get a little on the worn side, but they're all worn evenly. The rear tires are not burned up any more than the front are. The vehicle has cross-drilled rotors on it. You can see the wheels once again here. Real nice shape and just in clean, clean shape. Moving to the tailgate here, you can see the glass is real nice and clean on it. No scratches or anything like that. No chips or nicks. Some real light switch scratches in the tailgate. Nothing that uh, can't be buffed out with a little bit of a detailing. Just some real light, light, light imperfections. Overall for a black car, it's, uh, the paint's in very, very good shape. It's not swirled or damaged, anything like that. See on the roof panel here. Once again, some light little scratches. There's like one right there. Nothing, nothing horrible. It's typical stuff for a used vehicle. Moving on to the right rear quarter panel. Once again, just some some minor little light light scratches that'll just detail out. Nothing that isn't typical of a used vehicle. Overall, paint's in very, very nice shape. Again, another, the right rear wheel here, you can see it's pristine as well. No curb damage of any type on it. No scratches. Just overall, real nice shape. You see the windows are in good shape as well, no scratches or anything like that, or chips or anything along those lines. Passenger side door, it's also in very nice shape. Sure, minor scratches here and there, nothing, nothing to be worried about. I'd say 95 to 98 percent of the light scratch imperfections you see on this vehicle would come out with a good detailing and it would look pretty much brand new. Moving up to the right front fender here. Once again, just some real light little little hairline scratches. Nothing that can't be buffed out. For a car that's been driven and used, this car is in, in good shape. It's just real, real well taken care of for the most part. It does have some modifications, but it's just your 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 kind of minor stuff. Your bolt-on modifications. So once again, the right front wheel is in real pristine shape. The rotors do have some surface rust on it from sitting and whatnot and stuff like that. It's been very damp around here as of late. Moving to the windshield here. No cracks or anything along those lines. Moving on to the hood. Some light swirling in the hood, nothing major. Just stuff that uh, be taken care of with a with the normal detailing of a black vehicle. 
see here. There, there are some like hard water spots and spots here. Once again, it's due to the weather that we have going on here right now. See right there, we've got a little chip that's been touched up and another little chip right there that's been touched up. You know, a couple little little rock chips here and there. Once again, it's a, it is a used vehicle, so the condition is appropriate for that of a used vehicle. Shoulder, get a clear shot of the VIN number. Moving on to the front bumper, there are a couple little imperfections, little nicks here and there, a couple of little rock chips, nothing. Nothing major. Just a couple more right there, right there, right there. Nothing, nothing horrendous. Headlights are real in good shape too. You can see the grill's all intact. There's some real little slight rock chips, nothing too end of the world. Moving on to the left front fender here. Once again, the left front fender has some, some minor hairline scratches, nothing too major. The one larger flaw here is there is a, a, a scratch that has been touched up. Once again, there's another hair, a couple hairs on this car. Moving on to the left front door and mirror. See the mirror is real clean on it. Once again, the window is real nice on it. No, no chips or nicks or scratches. Same with the roof panel here. Real clean overall. Moving back to the left front door. You see there's just some like little like light hairs from when it was toweled off. Nothing nothing major. Overall cars in, in nice shape. Moving on to the left rear quarter panel once again. Move to the inside of the vehicle. See the door panels are in real nice shape here. The gong is very well working. Carpet's a little bit dirty. Nothing major. It's due to the weather we're having right now. A little bit of wear in the driver's front seat. You know, typical of a GM leather interior that has been used. It does have the carbon fiber dash overlay that's been added on. So it looks real nice on that. I've seen quite a few C6s with this modification done. It really completes the interior. It does have an aftermarket Pioneer stereo in installed. See here, the dash is just real clean and pristine. Passenger seat looks like it's hardly been even sat in. The cargo area is pretty pristine. We'll start her up here for you. See all the warning li warning lights do go out on here. Our gauges come up. This completes the first part of the Lemon Buster's auto inspection of a 2008.